This video classroom lesson is sponsored by Transmission Bench. Visit the transmissionbench.com store for the deluxe super kit, other parts, and even the video classroom lessons used during this project. Hello again. This is Project 4L60E, Part 2, Lesson 3. In the last lesson, we installed the low reverse clutch, rear planetary gear set, and the low roller clutch housing. Now we'll complete the rear section assembly by installing the sun gear, drive shell, reaction shaft and ring gear, front planet, and the output shaft. You'll need small and large screwdrivers, hammer, feeler gauge, snap ring pliers, 15 sixteenths and one and a quarter inch sockets, half inch extension, fluid bottle, safety glasses, and bushing drivers if you have access to them. Get the black four tab plastic thrust washer from the parts bench. I rarely find this part damaged, but check to make sure that it isn't cracked or missing any of the four tabs. Put a small amount of fluid on it. Place it on the inner race of the rotor clutch. Get the sun gear, drive shell, reaction shaft, and front planetary gear set. Set them at your workspace. Get the output shaft and the small snap ring from the box. We need to check these parts as a group for bushing, shaft, and spline wear. Begin by checking this bushing in the sun gear and the reaction shaft where it rides for wear. Look for wear on the shaft. Place it on the shaft and check for excessive clearance. Set the sun gear aside. If you feel any step where the bushing rides, the shaft will need replacement. Although you can't see it, I can definitely feel a step. Not much, but we will replace this shaft with a new one. This is the new reaction shaft. There are two styles available. One type has a shoulder machine for a thrust bearing like you see here used on our 2004 model. And another type without a shoulder used in model years 2000 and earlier, which have a four tab thrust washer instead of a thrust bearing. Notice the new surface where the bushing in the sun gear will ride. It comes with new inner bushings installed where it rides on the output shaft and for the forward planetary carrier. Install the new reaction shaft on the input ring gear by removing this snap ring. Push the old shaft out.
install the new one. Replace the snap ring. Inspect the sun gear. Look for any broken teeth or discoloration from heat, especially if there was rear planetary damage. Look inside. Of all the bushings in the 4L60E, this one sees the most wear. I always replace it. Get the new one from the bushing kit. To drive the old bushing out, you'll need a large screwdriver, hammer, and a hard work surface. Drive it out. Strike it from side to side. I'll use a driver to install the new bushing. You can also use a one and one quarter inch socket and extension. Drive the bushing in. Stop frequently and check the distance between the bushing and the ledge. When finished, it should look like this. Test fit it on the reaction shaft. If it's too tight and will not turn easy, tap it with the hammer to knock down any high spots on the bushing. It should turn freely. Let's check the drive shell. It's one of the most commonly broken or badly worn parts in a 4L60E. You'll find the splines where it connects to the sun gear stripped out, about to strip out, or even separated from the shell at this radius. Here are some examples of damaged drive shells from a video I made a year ago. And here's the problem, the broken drive shell. Here's the rest of it. It's supposed to be one piece. It should look like this. Not only can the shell break off, it can also strip out the splines, like this one. The symptoms are the same. Once again, a new healthy drive shell looks like this.
plan on buying a new one. If your old reaction shaft has acceptable wear here, check the bushings for wear. Test fit the one on this end by sliding it onto the output shaft. Look for wear on the shaft too. Inspect the other bushing. The input carrier rides here. This journal should be smooth with no gouging. If you feel a step, it must be replaced. Check planetary gear in play. Like the rear planetary gear set, it should be no more than 25 thousandths. Apply fluid to each gear. Put fluid on the thrust bearing and make sure it turns smoothly. If the bushings in the reaction shaft need replacement, get them from the bushing kit and install them as we did with the sun gear. After driving the old ones out, drive the new ones in with a 15 16 and one and one quarter inch sockets. Let's install the parts. Put fluid on the bushing in the sun gear. Install it with the helical gears down to mesh with the planetary gears. Get the drive shell. If you are working on a 2000 or earlier model, you'll need the type with four holes to accept a four tab thrust washer. Install the shell onto the sun gear. Put fluid on the thrust washer and install it like so. Two thousand one and later models use a drive shell designed for use with a thrust bearing between it and the reaction shaft. Our two thousand four model uses this type. Place it on the sun gear splines. Lubricate the thrust bearing with fluid. Put fluid on the reaction shaft journal and bushings. Put trans gel or small amount of grease on the shoulder of the shaft.
install the thrust bearing with the L-shaped inner race against the shoulder like so. Use enough gel so that it sticks like this. Install the reaction shaft and ring gear. Get the thrust bearing which goes between the front planetary carrier and the reaction shaft. Apply some fluid to it and make sure it turns smoothly. Notice how it fits correctly only one way. The inner lip race goes against the planet carrier onto a shoulder. Put trans gel or grease on the shoulder and install the bearing. Install the front planetary gear set like so. In order to finish up the rear section assembly, we need to install the output shaft and snap ring. Lay the case on its side. Lubricate these journals with fluid. Reach inside the case and put pressure on the front planetary with your left hand. Install the output shaft with your right hand. Twist as you push it in to mesh the splines together. The snap ring groove should barely clear the planetary. If you're not wearing safety glasses, put them on now. Get the snap ring and the snap ring pliers. Install the snap ring. This concludes lesson three. You're about one third of the way through the reassembly. In lesson four, we'll work on the input drums. I'll meet you there when you're ready.